So let's look at Google. Um, same thing, Google, very strong brand, number two. Um, the Android platform, dominant, right? By the way, they, this, their strategies, clearly, everybody knows, you know this, their strategies aren't the same. Apple's selling devices and, and, and selling an experience. Google is making their money on search, and all they want to do is have as many Android devices out there. They're free. Um, uh, and um, they're winning the, 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 the battle on number of devices, but <laughs> go back and look what Apple's making. Um, but there are issues. Google has issues. They don't have those retail stores. You can't go, go to a shopping mall and, and go to the Google search store. You don't, go, you don't buy anything from Google that way. Um, they have no experience with subscription services. No one's ever gotten a Google bill. Um, customer care. Have you ever tried to call Google about a problem? <laughs> um, and, and then, of course, there was the Nexus One, which, you know, basically was one of the greatest handsets I've ever used. And they, they basically stopped. They couldn't, they didn't know how to get them out the door. So let's look at the, let's look at the numbers for this little fat Android character here. Um, four and a half billion in ad revenues. Um, look at what Apple makes when they sell an iPhone. This is how much uh, average revenues generated per uh, Android device, $6.50. Not bad, you know, when you have as many devices installed. Um, this is the other one. That last year, not counting Motorola, which is a $12.5 billion acquisition, Google spent $1.9 billion buying 79 companies. Now, think about that. That's more than one a week. <laughs> They're buying more than one a week. They're buying more than one company. I don't know how many people have done M&A work and know what a, you know, a challenge it is buying a company and integrating it, but they're doing that at a pace of more than one a week. And consequently, if you think, well, these are issues, they don't have this, they don't have that, no worries, they go buy it, whatever it costs. Oh, we don't make handsets, we want to we wanna fight Apple a little more, let's go buy Motorola, 12.5 billion liters. They still have a lot more money in the bank. They could go out tomorrow and buy Sprint. And, and I, I didn't check it this week, but when I looked at it four or five months ago, um, they, they could have bought them for cash and still had three quarters of their cash reserve left. They can go buy anything. Um, so having a deficiency as an MVNO doesn't mean that they can't do it. So really, both Apple and Google are winning. Um, Apple through selling devices and obviously making a lot of money doing that, and Google through um, through advertising. You look at all these uh, all these new uh, products that Google always offer. They offer a new one, they roll out a new one, they <laughs> they pull them back. It's it doesn't have. It, they're not like anybody else in uh, rolling out or introducing new products because it doesn't matter to them if it's driving search great if it's. Uh, if it has a chance of doing the things that they think it might do, they'll keep it, and if not, they just pull it. Because they're, not, they're in the search business. Um, so the question then is, um, and I, obviously I wanted to get to the answer to the question. Um, so I, I, think, I think the answer, in, in my opinion, uh, is Apple going to become an MVNO. Uh, the answer is a resounding yes. I, I, I almost can't imagine them it not evolving to that and relatively quickly. Um, so I think they'll start, but I mean, why do I go into an Apple store in the US and I'm not sure how, how it is outside the US, um, um, but when I go into an Apple store, I can say, well, I want a GSM version and then they sign me up on an AT&T plan or I want the CDMA version and they sign me up on a, um, a Verizon plan. Why, why, why bother? I mean, what's, 
What's Verizon? I talked yesterday about this, but what's Verizon data? Is Verizon data better than AT&T data? It's data. It's X's and O's. It doesn't have a brand. The X's and O's don't have little brand um, logos on them. And, um, and with iTunes, um, they have an, a billing mechanism. They, you can, they can charge you once a month, and your card's on file. It's easier. And in my opinion, it, that's where they'll start. Because if you go back to that um, slide I showed earlier, they don't compromise the, continue, the continuation of that $381 subsidy. Because that's a hard, economically, that's hard to match as an MVNO. And that's what I think really the rub is and why I think the next step then becomes um, buying data plans, buying roaming plans. I wish I could have gone into the iTunes store and bought a roaming plan um, versus what happened to me when I got off the airplane in London Heathrow, which was I got a text message. I was, I was just getting off the, I turned my phone on. Within five minutes, I was walking uh, out of the pl plane on the jetway, and I got a text message from Verizon saying my uh, data charges were now over $50. I hadn't even gotten into the building, into the airport. Um, and, 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 um, and I think there's going to be a major hue and cry at the Olympics when all these big airplane full of Americans get, get off the plane and get text messages like I did. Um, and uh, we, all the benefits of the EU pushing roaming charges down have stayed for the benefit of EU um, residents. So if you don't live in the EU, you're still getting hosed the way everybody used to get hosed. So anyway, I, I think, so I, so I see it's an evolution. You start, with the, you start with the tablets, then you start selling some roaming plans. Um, I think Google has to go, I, I think Google's going to be forced, to, uh, Apple's going to force their hand. But I think Google's going to have to go buy somebody. They'll have to go buy an enabler or somebody to go do this for them. They can't do it themselves. And they're going to probably have to find somebody who can do just about everything. Uh, yeah, we, we, we know a few of those people in here.